Hello. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but as a musician rather than a sound engineer, I've been having awful problems trying to get VCV Rack 2 to pipe into Logic Pro. And uh, I've sussed it out and I just thought I'd pass on the information so that uh, you can do it too. So let's have a quick look at what's going now. Basically, I've got a drum signal. Nothing very exciting. But as you can see here, I've got these channels going. And if I click record, let it go. Happy days. Look, you can see five tracks coming in. All of them separate. And I can do what I want with them now. So I'm going to show you how to do that from the start. So let's close this up. I don't want to open it for now. Let's take a look at VCV rack first. So here we are, this is the drum. I've got to switch it on. I'll mute it. It's just got a clock going at 120. I've got a kick, clap, snare, hi-hat and cymbals going various different times. They're coming into this mixer here. The five tracks, I've had to tweak the levels a bit here. And then the outputs, crucially, are coming to this Audio 16 module. This is where the uh, setting up needs to be done. Basically, it's connected to Core Audio, and I'm using Black Hole 64 channel, but just the 1 to 16 in and out. There we go. And that's really all I need. I can leave these, these are just the outputs to the side that I can need so that uh, we can hear what's going on in Logic. So, with that going, I'm going to flip over to Logic and open up a new track from here. So here we are with my new Logic project and the first thing I want to do is grab a software instrument. I'm going to make sure it's an external instrument which you can find down in utilities if you need to look. Uh, oh yes, let's make it a mono one. And the output is going to be directed somewhere else. So let's just make it, get rid of these defaults and take a look at it. So what we need to do here is select the destination, which is the driver. I only have one, but you may have more. Um, I'm going to set this to one and I want the input to be one as well. And look immediately, you can see that there's a level coming in. Let's give it a listen. Right, we've got the kick already. However, let me try something, and this is the problem that I've come across. I'm going to record it as you might want. But when I stop, there's nothing there. So, what I need to do is create an audio track that I can record onto. So, let's do that. Go up to new tracks. This time, I'm going to select audio. And let's just have the one inputs and it will output to one and two. I'm going to create that. Close up the library again. Right, now we can see we've got two levels coming in. I'm going to need this for now. Just quickly call that kick. And this is the oh, kick audio. Right, there we go. Now. If I press record, you can see the happy little bar coming up here. This shows we're recording. And if I stop, there we have it. I'm going to uh, mute the BCV here, just so we can't hear the kick drum now. And if I come back here, unmute the audio, play it. Perfectly, just as it was playing in VCV. Now then, if I want to add others, I'm going to mute this again. I can just duplicate this one, move it down here. Let's go grab the snare. I'm going to duplicate this one and call it snare audio. Right, so here, 
rather than MIDI channel 1, I'm going to have MIDI channel 2. Oh no, I don't. The one there is here. There we go. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, little amendment here. That's actually a clap, isn't it? Right, so now I've got two things going. I can go through this and actually set them all up very quickly. And that's what I think I'll do, because you don't want to hang around while I do this. Let's just wait a second. Okay. Well, you can see here that I've set it all up. I've got my five external channels going. Each one, if I click on the symbol one, let me show you. The symbol, the input is set to five. And that one will be set to four, three, two, and one. And then here we have the corresponding audio tracks. I didn't mention this, but every time I duplicate one, I have to change the input to correspond to the, the input that I want. So each one of these now goes one, two, three, four, five. And you can see everything going here. I'm going to press record very quickly. Look, look, look. Oh, hang on. Yes, no, that's it. Five tracks. One count. Lovely. Look at those waveforms. Okay, let's just stop there. What I'm going to do is go to ECB, Oops, my channels, so that it doesn't drive me crazy. Go back here. I can on record and enable them. That's what was confusing me. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Now, if you're recording from VCV into Logic Pro and you're, you've got other tracks going, what you may find when you finish recording is that they're actually out of alignment and all you need to do is pick up your audio tracks, zoom in, line them up to the drum tracks or the sequence or whatever it is that you want to have. And there we go, everything will be now in sync with your other tracks. Um, and that is it. So, I hope this helps you out. And uh, happy music making.